Hello everyone and welcome to Muddy Beards 4x4. I am Robbie and today we are working underneath the hood of my 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ, which I am calling the Trail Plush. Now, if you are a fan of this channel and been following along with this build, you know that I bought this Jeep for cheap because it had an audible engine knock. Now, I got really lucky and I found out that a lifter had failed and it actually had kicked a rocker arm off. So I replaced that lifter or valve lash adjuster pop the rocker arm back on, and this thing has run mint ever since. However, there is still one big problem going on underneath the hood of this Jeep, and that is this air intake system. Now, this thing to me is absolutely hilarious. It reminds me of a 2005 Fast and Furious movie, but other than the fact that it is ugly, this thing is just simply not going to work for this Jeep, especially one that's going to go off-road. Now, first off, I'm not even sure this is made for the Jeep, but all the couplers and clamps don't seem to be fitting that well, and it might just be old, but I don't think this thing is sealing properly, which is not good. I don't want to be intaking a bunch of dirt and dust while I'm off-road. Also, this thing is supposed to be performance-minded, but with the filters just sitting underneath the engine and drawing all that hot air virtually right above the manifolds, I'm sure that's going to negate any sort of performance gain this intake might have achieved. And lastly, even though these cone style filters actually do work better than I thought, but they're just completely exposed. There's no sealed box, no cowl or protection from them, and on really dusty roads during the summertime, they were just clogging up immediately um, with dust. So originally I had just planned to just replace it with the factory intake system. I had a parts Jeep that I robbed this off of, but I just was going to turn everything back to stock. The problem with this is this factory intake box takes up a lot of real estate underneath the hood of this Jeep that I might want to add future accessories to. So the solution is going to be this Cal induction system from Trailhead Off-Road or Thor. Now this kit is a system that is designed specifically for this Jeep Grand Cherokee. In fact, they have a kit for both the 4 liter straight 6 and the 4.7 liter V8. And it is designed to go through the firewall and mount up underneath the cow. It will draw in much cooler air and also elevate that position of your intake while also keeping all that open space up underneath the hood. Now the install on this does not look like too big a job, so we're going to grab some tools and a couple of things, and we're going to go ahead and get this thing installed. Now to begin this installation, you must first remove your intake. Now the factory intake box does require a few more bolts, not quite as easy as this one, but remove your intake, and then you can move on to the firewall, where the factory brake line is retained by this clip. You can pop it out of place. Then you can actually remove that clip exposing the stud there on the firewall, which we will use to help mount our intake. Then I'm going to remove these brackets for some of the factory wiring harness um, and also the nut on the left hand side wiring harness there which we will also use as a mounting location for our intake heat shield. Lastly, you know, I want to unbolt the uh, ground strap here and move to the side. We will reinstall this in a different location later on. Then we take our heat shield here for the intake. This is how we're going to start and mark out where we need to uh, cut our hole in the firewall. So it's a tight fit. You may need to bend the tabs around a little bit to get it to fit securely. But once you have it in place, just push it up tight against that firewall. And then you can take a marker or a Sharpie and line out the inside of the bracket here so that we know where we need to make cuts on the firewall to fit our new filter in inside the cowl. Okay, with everything test fitted now and marked out, I got my lines drawn out, I'm gonna go ahead and now cut um, into the cowl here or into the firewall here to open up access to the cowl. Now I'm just gonna use my four and a half inch angle grinder um, a smaller die grinder might be better because it is it is tight in here. Um, you might even be able to use a hole saw, perhaps. This isn't necessarily flat, but 
Um, if you could get a drill in there, that is possible. But I'm just simply going to open up, you know, a nice little square opening here um, to gain access into the cow. Um, biggest thing though here is, of course, to be super careful. We got brake lines, you know, we got our wiring harnesses, even like you know AC stuff. So it is tight, um, but we're just going to take our time, be super careful, and cut it out. And then also just be aware that you're not cutting into this lip. This lip has pinch welds all along it and actually holds the whole body together. So below the you know, make sure you're below the, the, the cow lip here and cut out a nice little square so we can gain access. After carefully cutting out this hole, I went back through with an angle grinder and kind of cleaned up all the edges and stuff like that. Um, and then I had to go in and just give it a little bit of a shot of paint just to kind of clean it up. Um, but this opening is there, and if you can see, the filter now fits up into there just nicely. So um, not too terrible of a job. Again, it's just it's tight, so you know making sure to. You know, get everything out of the way here and push everything up out of the way so I can access it. But uh, we can now move on to the next part of this build, or this kit, which is this splash shield. So this installs up underneath the cowl itself um, to kind of protect that filter up underneath there from, you know, direct rainfall and stuff. So it looks pretty easy. It looks like all we have to do is pop off um, these plastic um, retainers that hold the cowl in place. Uh, this goes into place, and then using the factory stud, we'd all just put it back together and sandwich it in. Um, and then you have your protection here for the cowl. Alrighty, we do have our little uh, cow rain protector in place. It's kind of hard to see in there, um, but that just fits right up on there to protect that direct rain going on into um, the filter, which will be up inside the firewall now. But uh, now that we all got that installed, I mean, we can actually get going installing the, you know, putting this intake into place. And so um, we're going to get, you know, the filter fitted inside of here first, get my clamps at least loosely um, fit. And then once we get everything put on and in place, we can tighten it up. Um, I have for my filter here, I bought the, uh, or I got the optional pre-filter. Um, and for me, if you're going to use off-road, I think this is a no-brainer. This just gives that, that extra layer of protection, you know, especially if you're doing a lot of dirt roads and stuff. This just seems like a, a no-brainer. And so this will go up in there with the pre-filter. We'll get the heat shield put in place and then the uh, all the tubing and stuff and get this thing buttoned up.
right. Well, I am out here on a test drive just to make sure that everything is working right. And I'm, you know, I'm really happy with the way this thing looks, the way it turned out. The install was pretty easy to do and the thing's drive was great. It seems to be running just fine. Throttle response is nice and smooth and uh, yeah, it's a it's good drive. Um, but did this add power? Did it wake up this 4.7 liter powered V8? And the answer is, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> It doesn't really seem too different to me. Um, you know, the thing does seem to run really great, but as far as, you know, adding a bunch of horsepower that you're gonna be able to notice, I'm not sure you're gonna get that out of an intake like this. But consider this, you know, that should be a less restrictive style intake over the factory one. And, um, you know, drawing air from inside the cow, we certainly should be reducing those um, intake temperatures. And so, you know, ideally this should add a little bit of power and for sure make the thing probably run a little bit better and more efficiently. Now the other thing I wanted to address uh, while I'm out here on this test drive is a lot of people have complained about the, uh, you can kind of hear it right now actually, but a lot of people have kind of complained about that whooshing noise or that sucking noise with that cow being you know, the intake being mounted up there in the cowl. And um, it is noticeable, I can definitely hear it, um, but it's not too bad unless you're really romping on it. And besides, I actually think it sounds kind of great and adds a little extra good sound, a good engine note to this 4.7 liter. So that about wraps up this quick install on this trailhead off-road Cal induction system by Grand Cherokee. And you know, so far I'm pretty darn happy with this thing. It looks cool, it sounds good, and you know, I was really worried about all the fitment of everything considering how tight all this space is, but you know, everything's worked out great. It fits nice, everything's back into its factory location. The only thing I do need to address is this uh, vacuum line. I'm not really sure what's going on, what I'm missing, but I think whoever installed that previous intake did something with the hose that connects back into that vacuum. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, but for now, you know, this will work. Um, but again, I'm really super happy with this system. Now, whether or not this is going to give you a performance gain, you know, I don't have access to a dyno, so I guess I can't answer that question. But from an off-road perspective, I still really like this kit as well. Number one reason is it does elevate your, you know, your point of intake higher up on the vehicle, which is great, you know, to keep it up out of the water and out of the mud, you know, water crossings and things like that. And while it's not a snorkel, if you're, you know, getting this thing to the point where there's water up over the cow, you might be in bigger trouble uh, than you need to be anyway. But um, also, you know, again, you know, drawing the cooler air temperatures from up underneath the cow should give this thing a little bit of performance gain and make it run a little bit better, wake up that, v, that you know, this V8 a little bit. Um, but most importantly, it still opens up all of this room that is taken up by the factory intake that I can now use to install um, off-road, you know, uh, off-road oriented accessories, maybe a dual battery setup, maybe some compressors, I don't know, just a switch panel fuse block, something that is going to go in there. Um, then I can't wait to be able to use that space for that. So if you want to get yourself one of these intake systems, they make them for Grand Cherokees, uh, regular Cherokee XJs, Jeeps, a couple other Jeep models, and I believe even a couple of Toyota models. I will leave a link in the description below to Trailhead Off-Road so you can go check that out. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you want more WJ content, make sure you let me know down in the comments. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on the trail.